sister washes away on holiday. Oh, really? But as far as you know, Fred, anyone... What? She's gone to Princeton. That's where my sister's gone. Really? Yeah, she thought of it at all. Oh. Yes, but she went to Princeton. <laughs> so expecting someone, are you? Uh, yes, I'm expecting a lady. Expecting a baby? <laughs> oh, a lady. Oh. Well, as soon as I hear you banging about on the floor, I'll be right up with the bubbly sir. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't you, was it? Who was that? Well, never mind, sir. So no champagne for you, then. I hadn't really thought about champagne. Well, I really must make a note of that. I wouldn't want to make a mistake in the middle of the night, now, would I? No champagne in blue. Very well, sir. I'll be right down here if you need anything. Um, need anything? Well, yes, like cheese on toast or hot chocolate. You never know. What? Well, in the middle of the night. You may wake up and fancy something. Oh, thanks. But aren't you forgetting something, sir? Well, am I? Well, how shall I know which young lady's for you? I beg your pardon. Well, I mean, as far as I know, there'll be hordes of young ladies coming through the front door tonight. How shall I know which one is destined oh. to end up in blue with you and no champagne? Yeah, she's very pretty and she'll ask for Mr. Smith. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Smith? Yes. And when she does, send her up. Send her up. Very well, sir. Thanks.
lie down.
isn't it? And that's what it's called, the glitterum. Oh, here, let me take this one. Oh, that is kind. You didn't have to bring me a present. I thought it's there for me. <laughs> That's one of my vices. I always eat chocolates and bananas. You never told me that. Ah, uh, you can have one too. <laughs> but it does seem like a rather nice place, doesn't it? You did choose it, darling. I read about it in the parish magazine. <laughs> really? Good Lord. Well, you know, they said it was peaceful and isolated. Uh, it certainly is. If anyone wanted to find us here, they'd have to have a compass. <laughs> Just think of it, two whole days all on our own. Oh, <laughs> aren't you going to take them off? Sorry, I... Glasses. Oh, yes, I forgot. <laughs> so where are we going? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
business is that you have to keep the client sweet. Your client? Don't tell me they pay you to do this stuff, sir. So? <laughs>
can't eat down there. Yes, sir, I've been safe in our trunk. Well, you won't. He's going to be there. Who? Your husband. Oh, no. Yes, he's changed his mind. He's eating in the restaurant now. You said he was eating downstairs. Yes, well, it's, he's not eating in his room. Now, where's Mrs. Oh, thank God. Well, I lost you too, sir. <laughs> I see you found her all right then. Um, actually, she was very easy to find, so she hasn't gone very far. Sterling didn't tell you about the restaurant? He certainly did. Isn't it dreadful? It could have been worse. We, we went to say <laughs> Do you know what? No. 
Captain Nutsmith. <laughs> so you see, darling, I could be on to something very big tonight. What? Well, yes, a very large business deal. If my clients and I can only come together on it. Well, why shouldn't they come together? You're a good businessman. You usually get what you want. Yes. But you see, my client is one of those ladies that likes to mix business with the other thing. <laughs> really? Yes, and I, I know that you may find this rather hard to believe, but she does rather fancy me. <laughs> you? <laughs> see, I told you to be surprised. <laughs> Sometimes in business, you have to sort of string people along a bit. Ah, oh, well, you go ahead and string her along. I'll be here when you get back. <laughs> yes, as you see, that's the problem. <laughs> in order to finalize the deal, my client might insist on coming up here. To your bedroom? Well, yes, for a nightcap before going to bed. What? I mean, before she goes to her room and goes to bed. <laughs> and if... if she came up here and found my wife here. That, that might hamper things a bit. I suppose that could be somewhat embarrassing. What's all right, darling? Oh, good. I'll wait in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, did he 
you know she was coming? Well, of course I didn't know she was coming, you bloody fool. <laughs>
they, uh, why they belong to Mr. Harris. <laughs>
the tap, of course. Tap? What tap? Why, the, the hot tap in the basin in the bathroom. You remember, don't you, Bess? Uh, no, sir, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. That tap, sir. You should have told me. He, he didn't tell me. I didn't realize that. Is there something wrong with it? Oh, with what? Well, uh, hot tap in the basin in the back. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yes, miss, it, it's leaking. Uh, drip, drip, And he drip. can't possibly get a plumbing in until Monday. Uh, drip, drip, drip. And drip, you see, now, Ferris told Alice you couldn't possibly sleep in the room with the dripping in it. Drip tap, drip, sir. Drip, drip, He's drip. going to take her along to the blue bedroom. Why? Because that's where she'll be sleeping. Is she? Am I? Is she? <laughs> yes. There's no one there now. I wouldn't bank on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are you sleeping? Why, here, of course. Won't you mind the drip and tap then? Well, he'll have to get used to it, won't he, miss? <laughs> now, let me get this straight. You're sleeping here. And I'm sleeping down the way? Of course. <laughs> you are kinky, aren't you? <laughs> Well, so you see then, it's all very clear now, isn't it? I'm not so sure. No, it may be clear to you, but it's not clear to me. You still haven't told me who she is and what she's doing here. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Well, you see, that's all very simple. <laughs> that's all very plain. This lady here, yes. Why, how rude of me. Did I not introduce you? Uh, yes. Why... This is Mrs. Ferris. What? Mrs. <laughs> Ferris? <laughs> 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 yes. Says what? Yes. Ferris, I didn't know you had your wife with you. Well, neither did I, then. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly, sure, Ferris. Surely you recognize your own wife, don't you? No, I don't, sir. <laughs> Come on, don't tell me you forgot me already. I've never <laughs> seen you before in my life, miss. <laughs> yes, you have.
Garage. You will leave, sir. My car won't start. <laughs> and where's the nearest garage? You won't find one at this time of the night. You'll have to stay after all. Oh, Ooh. I can't do that. Well, you haven't got any choice, sir. Where are you going? To get the young lady a sandwich. Which young lady? Your young lady. You want the glasses? She's all alone. No big dreams. Alone? Yes, her husband with his client at the restaurant. I thought you said the restaurant was shut. Uh, well, it's opened again now, sir. <laughs> oh, can I have a sandwich as well? What? I am a bit hungry. Oh, very well, sir. I can imagine with all the tracing about you've been doing. I tell you what, you go to Green and I'll bring these sandwiches up there. So, wait a minute. What if my wife finds out? Well, she's having her dinner, isn't she, sir? Is she? Well, I mean all of them. They're all having their dinner, aren't they, sir? <coughs> I suppose so. I'll let you know if there's any danger, sir. Oh, thanks. Um, here, perhaps I could. Well, sir, I really oh, don't. Okay, okay. But if you're offering, sir, <laughs> I'll <laughs>
Uh, yes, sir. She settled down with smoked salmon and dry white. Smoked salmon and white wine. Well, I, I don't suspect she would go looking for me then, huh? I think she has everything she likes, sir. <laughs> uh, Champagne! Uh, when shall I be sure? Uh, Won't you be able to manage, sir? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, if she's like this now, what shall she be like after champagne? Me, they'll be 
be hell to pay. There certainly will. Well, if you come out instead, then everything will be all right, won't it? Huh? Well, of course, it was your room, and my wife would only think that my girlfriend is your girlfriend. Yes, I so, suppose so. So get them on. That will leave me in the clear. Yeah, and where would that put me? Well, it can't matter to you which woman my wife sees you with, now can it? Well, I suppose not. Okay, well, come on, get them off, then. Well, but wait a minute. <laughs> Why do I have to take off my trousers? Look, you're <laughs> pretending to be the man in the blue box. <laughs> He's left his pants in the blue bedroom. Yeah. So come on, get them all. No, I won't do it. Come on, get them all. No, come on.
left, didn't you, sir? But you said I can't. Yes, yeah, she left. Taxi, sir? Yes. Thank you, first. She took a taxi. Thank you, sir.
Eastside Manor. Today is Thursday, February the 15th, 2001. Great show, guys. Tell Pete I enjoyed it. Say that again? I said, tell Pete I enjoyed it. And that was Phyllis Capps again. Tell him all about the play. <laughs> he's enjoyed doing it. Yeah, yeah. he loves it. He's a, he's a good ham. Yeah, it was good. Okay, camera off. <laughs> 